Welcome to our lesson on rounding to a decimal place. So we're going to begin with 0 0.1345. And you can see the first number after the decimal point is the 1. So this is between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. And because it is about here, you can see it is nearer to 0 0.1 than it is to 0 0.2. So 0.1345 is approximately 0.1 to one decimal place. And for question two, we have 0 0.6823 to the second decimal place, which in this case is the eight. So 0 0.68 is between 0 0.68 and 0 0.69. And the 2, 3 tells you it is closer to 0 0.68 than it is to 0 0.69. So this becomes approximately 0 0.68 to two decimal places. Do you want to try and round question 3 and question 4? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question 3. So you can see... B7 is the first number after the decimal point, so it is between 14.7 and 14.8. The 5 tells you it's exactly halfway, and because it is halfway, you round it up to 14.8. And for question 4, the 8 is the second number after the decimal point, so it is between 73.08 and 73.09. And the 9 tells you it is approximately here, so it is closer to 73.09 to two decimal places. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try and complete the table by rounding to the stated accuracy? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So to one decimal place, this becomes 6.9. To two decimal places, the 6 rounds up the 5 to a 6, so it becomes 6.86. And to three decimal places, the 2 does not round up the 6, so it becomes 6.856. For the next one, the 4 does not round up the 8, so it becomes 0 0.8. For two decimal places, the 5 does round up the 4 because it is halfway between 0.84 and 0.85, so it becomes 0.85. And for three decimal places, the one does not round up a five, so it becomes 0.845. And finally, to one decimal place, the nine does round up this nine to a 10.0. For two decimal places, the 9 again rounds up the 9, which in turn rounds up the other 9. So now 10.00. And for three decimal places, again, the 9 rounds up this 9 to a 10, to a 10, and back to a 10. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.